As of December 18th of 2022, there are 41 volcanoes which are actively erupting across seven continents, including Antarctica. One of these erupting volcanoes is the Great Sitkin Volcano in the U.S. state of Alaska. Its current eruption has been ongoing since 2021, occasionally being visible from the town of Adak, during which it has constructed a large blocky lava dome in its summit crater. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Chile, one of the world's most explosive volcanoes produced a hybrid earthquake, the volcano known as Mount Hudson. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the Sinabung volcano experienced an increase in volcanic earthquakes, suggesting that something unusual might be occurring at the volcano for the first time in more than a year. And in the United States, the nation started the week with five volcanoes thought to be actively erupting. That number has now decreased to two as the Pavla volcano in Alaska, the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii, and the Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii all definitively stopped erupting. However, in each case, it was rather uncertain when each volcano stopped erupting, although Kilauea and Mauna Loa weirdly stopped erupting within a few days of one another. This suggests that one volcano may have indirectly or directly affected the other. This had long been suspected, as on several occasions when one volcano was seemingly dominant, the other did not erupt or had a greatly reduced rate of eruptions. For example, between 1934 and 1951, only Mauna Loa was active, while Kilauea strangely remained quiet. This trend was reversed between 1952 and 1974, when only Kilauea was active. And from 1985 to 2021, only Kilauea was active. During this time span, one of Kilauea's longest eruptions in recorded history was ongoing, which just happened to coincide with Mauna Loa's longest period with no eruptions since 1843. And once again, when Kilauea ended its long eruption in 2018, Mauna Loa would subsequently go on to erupt a mere four years later. One reason for this apparent pattern where one volcano can affect another is stress effects. Per a direct quote from the U.S. Geological Survey Volcanoes Twitter feed, for stress effects, think of two kids in the backseat of a car. They don't share the same set of veins or nerves, but they can still influence one another. One pushes the other into a corner. Or, one curls up to fall asleep, allowing the other child more room to expand. In other words, there's a possibility that whichever volcano erupts next could remain as a dominant volcano on the island for some time. Whether this is Kilauea or Mauna Loa remains to be seen. In Indonesia, one of the most recently destructive volcanoes has been the Sinabung Complex, which is located just northwest of the Toba supervolcano. Over the past decade, this volcano has frequently erupted, producing pyroclastic flows which covered a wide swath of the volcano's southeastern flank, traveling up to 5 miles or 8 kilometers distant. Yet, it has been more than a year since its latest eruption occurred. However, since mid-November, the number of volcanic earthquakes at Sunabun have been increasing at a slow rate. This produced a sudden spike on December 12th, after which seismic activity returned to still elevated levels. Magma might thus be moving under the volcano, but until signs of volcanic uplift are detected, it will be difficult to predict what might happen next. Within Chile, one of the nation's most explosive volcanoes is the glacier-covered Mount Hudson volcano, which also contains a large caldera. This volcano has produced three voluminous eruptions in the last 10,000 years, the last of which occurred in 1991. Although Mount Hudson has produced smaller eruptions, a close eye is continuously kept on its complex due to the potential of future explosive events. On December 11th, the network of sensors picked up a hybrid earthquake from the volcano, which occurred at 11.07 a.m. local time. According to Sir Nejoman, this quake occurred due to a combination of rock fracturing and the movement of fluids. While these fluids could theoretically be magma, in my opinion it is likely instead hydrothermal, and there is not yet a need to worry at this volcano. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Additionally, here are a group of volcanoes which are showing signs of unrest and are not erupting, but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank Griflandia for becoming a new patron on this channel's Patreon page.